hi all uh, today i'm just going to show you all how this uh, .NET uh, portability analyzer is going to work uh, actually what happened recently uh, in our project we are uh, about to migrate few of our .NET 4 uh, project into .NET Core by the time we were facing a lot of issues we are not unable to understand what all our dependencies are there how to migrate them so what are the consequences uh, sequences will come once we start uh, migrating our application before uh, we start this migration process this is the first step we have to analyze which all our dependencies are available in our project so for that microsoft already provided a dotnet portability analyzer it will help you to analyze your older version i mean your dotnet uh, 4.8 or uh, older version of that application whether it is supported for the dotnet standard in dotnet core or not so for that you have to download this and you have to execute the command or else uh, already we have an application called .NET AirPod I will be uh, sorry API port I will be providing this link in our uh, description so with help of this we are going to analyze yeah uh, let me show you all how we are going to do that I am opening a command prompt already I have downloaded uh, that application in my system so you can see this is the API port I'm using right now. Yeah. So here, uh, what I will be doing is like I will just point to my current repository and in folder where it is available at exe. So uh, now to execute the application, we have a command. Okay. So this is the command we have to pass and the project path where you are having your DLL okay so uh, I am just I have just already copied my DLL in a separate folder to just demonstrate how exactly it will work so here what happened uh, this uh, DLL is built um, in the version of .NET 4.8 okay so it contains all other related uh, uh, namespaces which we are using in our application so uh, I have ran this so it will show you analyze compatibility writing excel report okay so that assembly references they will find and they will be doing all the analysis so once it's done it will provide a path where that excel sheet is available so this is the this is my path where that excel sheet is available so i can get it yeah so today's 28 just now we ran and you generated the report i'm just opening the excel okay see here what happened is uh, this is my assembly name and uh, here the framework as i said it is 4.8 and here you can see whether this is compatible for the dotnet code version or not yeah it is compatible with 93 percent 90 percent 93 okay but the thing is uh, you will get the details which all are not supported yeah see if you see this uh, system.web already uh, most of the people know system.web is not supported by the .NET Core instead of that they are uh, using different things so here if you see it is not supported either of this version I mean it is not available in the .NET standard as well so that's the reason it is showing it is not supported in this case we have to come up with different approach either you have to rewrite the existing thing or else we have to upgrade so this is how uh, it will help you to understand whether it is supporting or not. Yeah, so you can see the system dot, uh, this is supported in the uh, .NET standard. Why the .NET standard came in this picture in the sense if you write any of this, your, any of your class libraries in the .NET uh, standard that you can use in your .NET framework as well as in the .NET code. So that is the best way if you guys are uh, planning to prepare any class library which work in either of the um, a platform then we have to go with the topic standard yeah this is one thing and you can see here uh, in detail uh, what all namespaces are supported and which all are not supported by the .NET Core and .NET standard so this will give you uh, uh, important uh, details which all are uh, needs to be rewrite 